What's up YouTube? It's Rachel Haig here. So I just got my face beat. I'm gonna tag her below. You should definitely go check her out. She's just getting started with makeup and she did freaking amazing. Like this photo shoot, I'm gonna look so good. But anyways, so I have been trying and trying and trying to shoot my booty gains video that I promised you guys that I would shoot and that I would post for you guys. And I literally videotaped it like 20 times. I can't find a good editing program. I couldn't figure it out. My camera broke. My computer crashed. Like, I was seriously having some issues. So, you know what? I'm going to make it on my phone. I'm not really going to edit my videos. And if you have a problem with that, don't watch my videos. If you're fine with watching my janky videos with good advice, watch them, love them, continue to follow me. And hopefully one day I'll be able to figure out how to edit things. But honestly, right now, I really just don't have time. Um, but besides that, I really wanted to apologize because I literally said um like a thousand times in my last video. Now, to get started with the booty gains video, buns are the new guns. So building your booty is super, super important. Not only is it important because it looks good, but it also will help prevent injuries in the gym because you're building a strong back. Um, you're building a strong foundation, so it's very important But I also want you guys to know that it's important to not only work your butt So there's a lot of girls that just want a big butt. They'll only do leg day at the gym It's important to do leg day. It's important to still work out your upper body that way you're toning your overall Still add in some cardio because overall toning your legs and toning everything is gonna make you look a one so don't overwork your muscles. Only do your booty like two to three times a week at the most. Make sure that you're still working your upper body and hitting some cardio. Now, when you start your booty workout or your leg day workout, it's very important that you activate all of your muscles because your butt is like an onion. So there's three muscles in your butt and you want to activate and get all of those warmed up. So starting your leg day, I recommend to do 10 minutes on the stair stepper, probably like level six. Um, just go and get yourself warmed up, get the blood flowing within your legs. And the stair stepper is also a great way to tone. So adding a little bit before and after your workout is definitely going to make a drastic difference. Now next, after the stair stepper, I want you to go into the gym having a plan. So plan your work, work your plan. Know which exercises you want to do, how many hamstrings, how many quads, how many of each different things that you want to do. That way you kind of already have it planned out so you don't get too stressed out. I do recommend doing supersets so you can do some squats followed by some hamstring deadlifts with dumbbells or anything like that. That way you're kind of activating both muscles to their fullest um, and make sure that you're not resting for too long. So you're resting for 30 seconds in between, a minute in between, but uh, make sure that you're not taking long rests. One, don't be that person at the gym that's taking up the whole, all the squat racks for hours. Also, when there's less of a rest, you're pushing your muscles and that's what's gonna make you grow. Next, when you're squatting, it's super important that you do the ugly booty squeeze. I will add a video in here. I'm telling you, it's ugly. You gotta squeeze your butt at the top. That is what is gonna activate some glutes. So when you go down, go down like a normal squat, come up, squeeze your butt as much as you can, hold it in there. That's gonna activate your glutes. That's gonna make your booty grow a little bit. Next is slow and controlled motions. So when you're squatting, it's very important that you do a couple sets, multiple reps, everything. But slow and controlled motions are definitely going to help you to activate those muscles. So what I do personally is I'll do some squats. I'll do some normal squats where you get low, ass to grasp. And then I'll also do pumps. So it's just you're not going all the way. Your constant tension pumps. And then I'll do the slow and controlled. You go down slow, you come up slow, and then you pinch and do that ugly booty squeeze. That's really going to activate all of your muscles, your hamstrings, your glutes, your quads, everything. And it's going to put a little bit more work. You're going to be working your muscles a little bit more. So, for example, 10 normal squats, 10 pumps, 10 slow and controlled, rest 30 seconds, do it again. That is a great leg day 
workout. On leg day, do not neglect your hip adductors and abductors. It's very important to do those machines. That's definitely going to help you tone um, as well as build the booty a little bit. So that's the machines that go out and go in. I'm sure you see it on my Snapchat all the time, uh, my Instagram all the time. But definitely add those into your leg days because it's definitely going to help mostly tone. And it's going to help with that foundation, like I said. Building your booty is going to make your whole body stronger because you're going to have a stronger foundation. And that's really going to help your um, hip adductors become more stronger. Towards the end of this video, I think I'm going to add in some leg day my workouts videos just so you can kind of see how I do it. Make sure that you're doing the right thing. Get some ideas. Um, but it's very important to do some lunges, do squats. Calf braces, I'm telling you, it's called the stairway of hell. Do not neglect the calves. Each stair, down the stairs, at LVAC, I want to see five calf raises. I'm telling you, it burns. No matter what gym you go to, up and down the stairs, down every step, five calf raises, it, you're going to feel the burn. Next, um, after your workout, it's very important how you work your post-workout. So if you really want your booty to grow, you really want your leg muscles to work and to be toned and grow those muscles, I want you to add protein into your diet. So whether that is right after the gym, in the car ride home, drink a protein shake, that's what I do. Um, eat some chicken, tilapia, ground turkey, some lean meats, but after your workout, you should be ingesting protein. That is exact. That is the only thing that is going to make you grow your muscles, and it's very, very important. Also, I'm telling you, drink your water. Water is going to help you so much. It's going to make you tone up your body. You're going to feel so much better. Your skin's going to look clearer when you're drinking your water. So if you add that to your diet, it's definitely going to help with any muscle, but even your butt. So overall, building your booty is super important. I hope that these tips helped you out a little bit. It's super important to build your foundation, build your booty, because not only is it going to prevent injury for you and it's going to make you stronger, it could cause injury on other people and it could break a couple necks when they watch you walk by when your booty's popping. So stick with me, girls. We're going to do a video walking through the gym, doing a full leg day, and I promise... to the ocean swallow me up in one motion though sees my queen i show devotion